2021 Genesis GV80. Car and driver's 10 best. Now the Genesis first SUV is packed with luxury, value, and style that can't be ignored by anyone. It's just awesome and epic looking. Just look at that. Now four short years of extensive Genesis now has won two 10 best awards. Clearly, the brand has the attention of car and driver, even if the general public has no clue what to make of it. Like the other Genesis model, the GV80 has a not so subtle wing badge on his nose. If passerbys confuse those wings with the Bentley Flying B, so be it. The GV80 design and presence only adds to the ruse. It shouldn't be surprising that Genesis found inspiration in Bentley. After all, the Hyundai Group employs former Bentley design chiefs, Luke Duckenwalk. This is like a, a German name, Luke Danukowoki. And while styling is subjective, it doesn't feel like much of a stretch to say that the GV80 is more attractive than the Bentley Bentega. If you're thinking, well, anyone can rent a tuxedo, the GV80 has real substance beneath this sheet metal. Under the skin is Genesis' new substantial filling M3 platform. Yep, that's what they call it. Solid and quiet, the crossover has a multi-link setup on both axles. The handling and steering are crisp and car-like. There's a lack of stress even when you exceed the tire limits. The GV80 drives lower than it is. The body remains flat and it weights is distributed such that no single tire seems overwhelmed. But there's also a suppleness in the vehicle moves. The softer side of the GV80 is truly intoxicating. The ride quality blends relaxation uh, with the uh, athleticism and the twin turbocharged 3.5 liter V6. The upgrade engine pick never raises its voice too loudly. Although you can adjust the volume of the engine noise piped into the cabin. That's awesome. <laughs> That's great. This 375 horsepower 6 offers 391 pound feet of torque just off idle. Which means the powertrain is never out of step. A heady surge of acceleration is just a toe dip away. There's also 300 horsepower turbocharged 2.5 liter in line 4 in the lineup. And aside from exhibiting a touch of lag when accelerating from a stop, it pulls with authority and does its work without making much of a fuss. Double pane glass and active sound cancellation. That's luxury at its best. This house blocks out the world, but at highway speeds, there's a bit more tire roar than expected. It's possible that all uh, Bentley Qs may have raised our expectations in the super luxury sphere. To the sound level meter, there's no difference. The GV80 low 66 decibel hum at 70 miles per hour is right there with the Bentley Flying Spur. But while the volume level is identical, the sound itself is not as pleasant. Well, you're not paying the same price as you're paying for a Bentley. Now, a Bentley, I'm sure you're putting back three hundred thousand plus dollars, anywhere from two fifty to three hundred, or even be might be lower than that. Now, inside, Genesis piles of luxury, uh, piles on luxury with carefully stitched patterns and seats, a big fourteen point five inch infotainment screen, available soft leather and handsome wood, an audio system that's better than uh, that which is in your house and has the ability to use your smartphone as a key and even thick carpet to give you your shoes some love. And when you take off your shoes, you're wearing sandals, you're just gonna feel just good. It's gonna be real nice upon your nice, beautiful, lotus looking feet. Now the uncluttered instrument panel is close enough for contact, but visually distant. A clever design trick set in front of the driver on the top tier model is a 12.3 inch uh, digital gauge cluster. All of the trim levels have a smaller screen with the digital tech, analog speeds. Now on every GV80 though, the tachometer needle swings counterclockwise. Possibly a nod to the way Aston Martin does it. Boy, they know how to do it, don't they? I mean, making you feel like a king, even though you don't have a $400,000 to splurge or anywhere from two to $400,000 to splurge on the Aston Martin. Now, amid the exquisiteness, there are just a couple of minor missteps. 
The gear selector and the rotary control for the infotainment system are easily mistaken for each other. <laughs> Swapping their placement would help avoid conflu confusion. Now the two-spoke steering wheel that looks sort of like a 74 Chevy has an unbecoming bit of plastic trim on it. On its top side, finally the buyers who optioned third row should consider it a temporary position and know that the extra seats rob the GV80 of the spare tire. Who needs a spare when you got, um, uh, when you have side road or emergency services? Now, we drive many new vehicles, and uh, parent driver does, where it's obvious the designer and engineer benchmark only direct competitors. But the strategy can produce good cars, but it also never produces uh, breakout ones. Inspiration for the GV80 clearly came from the Bentley and the Rolls Royce. Of course, the GV80 isn't a super luxury SUV. But it's not cheap. It's not a cheap knockoff at either. Its design and refinement allows it to sing many of the notes as a vehicle twice its price. Now aiming high the, and pricing low, the GV80 starts below $50,000. And this is how you, you get noticed. And this is how Lexus and Acura did it over 30 years ago. Now it's Genesis' turn. And honestly, I've been at a car show and I sat in one of these babies. And it is nice. And I actually got a video on it. You know, and you'll see it. In AO Automotive Reviews, you'll see it in the videos. But this car is epic. This SUV is epic, guys. This is this is it's it's an awesome SUV. And um you can't go wrong if you do choose the G V eighty. This is AO Automotive Reviews. Thanks for watching. Remember like, share, and subscribe. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Share it with your friends and subscribe for more interesting videos.